For this pointwise exercise, I will be demonstrating the options that are available for selection boxes and how to use them efficiently in pointwise. The ability to use selection boxes can give a user an advantage and greatly increase productivity. Refer to the sphere in a cube example geometry and apply similar steps to make use of selection boxes for your own geometry. To change the selection box styles, go to Edit, Preferences. In the selection frame, Notice that there are two different selection box styles for pointwise. Inside and touched by box, which selects all entities inside and touching the selection box's boundaries. And inside box only, which only selects entities entirely inside the box. For now, we will leave the selection style as inside and touched by box. To exit the command panel, click on close. Depending on your geometry preferences, one selection style may suit you more than the other, or you may like to use both. Suppose we want to select all the sphere's entities. Place the mouse to the upper left of the outside of the sphere. Left click the mouse and hold. Drag the selection box down and to the right of the sphere. Notice the box icon below the mouse that has a line through and outside the box. This icon means that we are selecting entities using the inside and touched by box style. Now release the left mouse button. Notice that not only the sphere's entities were selected, but also some of the entities on the cube because they touch the selection box. For this example, we really want to use the inside box only style. Though changing the preferences every time we want to switch selection box styles can be tedious. Let's use a shortcut instead. Now place the mouse to the upper left of the outside of the sphere. Hold the shift key. The shift key toggles the selection style for us. Left click the mouse and hold. Drag the selection box down and to the right of the sphere. Notice that the box icon below the mouse has changed and only has a small line entirely inside the box. This icon means that we are now selecting entities using the inside box only selection style. Release the shift key and left mouse button. Now notice that only the spheres entities were selected. The shift key allows us to quickly toggle back and forth between the two different selection styles. The view icons on the toolbar are an additional way to make selection easier. Suppose we want to only select the top and bottom entities of the geometry. Click on Recall View Positive Z on the toolbar. To flatten the view, go to View, Set View Type, Orthonormal. Hold the Shift key and draw a selection box around the bottom of the cube. Hold the Control and Shift keys and draw a selection box around the top of the cube. The control key allows you to make multiple selections at one time. Release the control and shift keys and left mouse button. So rather than selecting all top and bottom entities by hand in the display window, using a couple selection boxes can speed up the selection process. Also note that if we wanted to select only top and bottom connectors, we can mask all entities except for connectors and repeat the same steps as before. Now only the top and bottom connectors have been selected. Practice these techniques and start using selection boxes to your advantage.